Hello, this is Nick Leveland from Pegasus Property Group. Um, I'm just doing a quick video on um, kitchens and HMOs. Um, so, so this one here is a nine-bedroom HMO. Um, it's currently tenanted, uh, hence all the all the crap in the sink. Um, but building regs for, for kitchens and HMOs is a little bit of a minefield sometimes. Um, you know, this this property has nine bedrooms, so it's tenanted for nine people, um, but the restriction on the amount of people we can have, i.e. we could have like nine bedrooms with 15 people so we could have couples in some of the rooms, those restrictions basically come down to the kitchen. So um, I'm just going to flip the camera around and then show you the kitchen whilst I talk. So yeah, I'll just give you a quick walk around of the kitchen now. So um, this HMO is a nine bedroom HMO. Um, something I found from looking at a lot of the building regs is, you know, we could have nine bedrooms and be uh, licensed for nine people for example but a lot of the restrictions on the amount of people you can have seems to come down to the kitchen primarily so um, for example uh, 0.5 meters of worktop per person you need one cupboard per person um, per five people you need a sink and an oven and a hob so um, this property is a nine bedroom HMO but um, we can have up to I believe 12 people in this property um, so we could have um, some couples etc so yeah, so we've got two uh, ovens and hobs here and here. Uh, the microwave counts as well as a, a cooking facility. Um, we've also got two sinks. Um, we could have a dishwasher as well, and that would also um, help towards um, you know the amount of tenants that we can have. Uh, worktop wise, we've got plenty of worktop space. Um, we've got plenty of cupboards. Um, so yeah, this is a Howden's kitchen. Um, it's got handles on. I've started to do my kitchens without handles now because I find the handles get um, broken quite often. So I go for the nice um, handleless um, cupboards now, which uh, the cupboard doors, which I think look quite cool actually. So that's what I'm doing on my newest HMO. Um, but yeah, there's this is tenanted. That's why the stuff in the sinks. Um, uh, I think I believe there's building regs as well on um, on your fridge space. There's so many liters per person of fridge and so many liters per person for freezer freezer as well. I can't remember what those are off the top of my head to be honest with you. But um, I'll probably put it in the comments below when I found out myself uh, find out myself. Uh, yeah this is a little communal space here. It's all open plan so it's quite nice. And we've got a little uh, little sort of backyard area out here with open and French doors. So this is quite a nice um, communal area for the HMO. People cook, uh, they socialise, they talk, they sit down and eat together at the table, uh, you know they watch some TV, uh, open the doors up and have a have a bit of music on, so it's quite nice. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So, thanks very much for watching my video um, on kitchens and HMOs. I uh, hope it was useful for you. Uh, thanks to Stuart Young for um, asking for me to do this video for the idea. Um, if anyone else wants me to do some more videos on uh, HMOs, building regs, etc., uh, any management tips. Um, as you're probably aware, I do tours as well around HMOs and Stoke and Trent, which are completely free. So um, if you want to come along to one of those and we get a coffee and talk about business, uh, let me know. Thank you. Bye.